Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back and in today's video we'll continue with our Flutter and Parse series of videos talking about users. So many of you have applications that needs to have a user context so you can show to one specific end user of your application some uh, specific content. So Parse got you covered by having a special class called user that is automatically created by parse and has a built-in uh, uh, set of functions that allows you to manage and control those users in a very very easy way so here i have my to-do app and here you'll find my user class already created it is almost the same as a regular class so you have an object id you also have a uh, created that and updated that uh, columns but this class specifically has a few other properties that other classes don't. So for instance, you have the email verified. So Parse can verify the authenticity of the emails of your end users, and this automatically integrates with this class. So every time a user uh, authenticates with his or her email, it will mark here uh, as a verified email so we can know that's a true user. It also has a uh, username, uh, field so you can store a username and a encrypted password field where you can store passwords very securely and you, without having to uh, do any kind of work to store it uh, encrypted you can also uh, have a optional email uh, set, uh, set as a string and then you can control the emails and send emails through parts to that and users so to manually add a user here in the uh, dashboard you can click at the row here and then type a username so in this case i'm type allison and give it a password so let's put abc123 so now that the password is set it you always show to me as hidden and even i that i own the app cannot read the password myself so this is very secure so if I try to edit, I can change it. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. Now the password has changed, but I myself have no way to figure out what that password is. So it's a very secure mechanism that, that works all integrated with Parse and you don't have to uh, worry about it. The email field is optional. I always recommend you to ask the emails, but depending on the content store that where you're publishing your application, it do, does not allow you to ask for the user email. So this is optional. So to show you how it works, here I have my Visual Studio and we have this do user res registration method in Flutter where we will code how to uh, create a new user by code. So the first step is to retrieve the username, the email, and the password from my UI. With that done, I'm going to declare a parse user by typing final user equals parse user dot create user and then passing those three uh, arguments. Remember, the email one is optional. With that out of the way, we're going to make a await because this is a synchronous call user dot sign up, and then we will check the response of that request. I'm going to do a if else, checking the user, uh, the response.success. If it is successful, we are going to show show success. If not, show error and then the error that parse uh, brought to me. So here I have my simulator with that interface and we are going to try to add a few users here. So first I'm going to type Alex as the username, email, so Alex at backfireapp.com and then my password ABC123 and sign up. So my user was created. If I go back to my dashboard and refresh, you see here my username Alex, my password is hidden and my email is there. And I can try to do another one. So let's put Davi and then Davi at, at backfire.com and the same password, so sign up. It will sign him up but what if i try to do it again so sign up again it brought me an error so parse already checked that i have a user named davi uh, with that username being already used i cannot have another one with the same username so it controls everything to me and i don't have to worry about anything i just have to call the method 
and if it works it will save the user if it doesn't it will retrieve the error and i don't have to worry about it so this is how you create a user in parse it's a very very useful way to do it it's all integrated with um, and the benefits of using parse so sending emails verifying emails uh, resetting passwords you got, we got you covered in all situations so i hope you like this video and hope to see you on the next one of the series see you soon bye bye